Welcome back to What Art You Nibs with General Disturbance and you are looking at an M44 and this M44 belongs to Gimme Hendrix <laughs> which is quite a good pun on words I suppose but he either likes Hendrix or he's trying to uh, copy Jimi Hendrix but his M44 is called Tom Sawyer as you can see there and he's got one mark on his barrel and it looks like he's not alive yet oh no his gun's turning He's decided he has to move. Now he's going into the dip. Is he going to go up the far side of the back? No, nope, he's just going to use the bushes for cover. Okay, now he's going to aim for the... Uh, now the enemy RT, the M44, has been spotted and he's going to try and take him out straight away. Rounds out. And he does! Kills the enemy M44 with one shot, first shot. Brilliant. Okay, what's this next target? There's a KV-1 and it's stopped. It's, I think it was tracked. And he's repaired his track. Lining up the shot ahead, rounds out. Oh wow, direct hit, 104 hit points, kills the KV-1 with one shot. Okay, now I can do the same to this T-28. It's been tracked. He'll probably untrack himself before Jimi Hendrix fires. I say, if you say it fast enough, it sounds like Jimi Hendrix. And he does, he kills the T-28. <laughs> he's, he's getting them. That's three in a row with three shots. That's a Reaper medal, I think. That's at least a Reaper medal. Okay, now he's looking for easy targets. There's a looks come all the way up and he's now currently in grid square B6. Now that is a threat to him. Now the enemy has still got two arties, so this is a bit of a problem. He's in a dip, so he can't be seen but for the moment. But if that looks comes around the corner up into the cap area and he's already taken out uh, one of the tanks, or one of the tanks has been spotted and taken out. But he's aiming instead, and he kills the SU-85 up on the uh, uh, the heights um, at uh, G4. Uh, That's amazing, that. I've never seen that done with a, a blind shot. Wow, that was pretty good, that was. Ah, now he hits the wreck on that one, so his, uh, his run of uh, shots and kills ended with that one because it hit the wreck that was still sitting there, the Hetzer. Uh, he's going for that KB-220 again. Or is he? No, he's got a red line, so I think he's going to leave that alone. He's more concerned about this T-37 because there's nobody there to defend against it. They lost just about every tank that was guarding that route. And there's a T-67 waiting to ambush that T-37 when he comes around that corner. But the question is, where is he going to cross that... Uh, that line of um, dragon's teeth. Round out. Ah, oh, 334 hit points. Well, actually, he recorded his 229, but he needs to move now because he would have been seen. And he doesn't want the uh, T37 transmitting his position back to the enemy RT because they will be onto him like a shot. There's still one enemy RT in the enemy team. Looks like it's a birch gun as well. Okay, T34 taken out there before he can shoot. And now an Electo has come around the corner. Now he has been seen again. Fires and he kills the Electo. That's his fifth kill so far. And there's an IKV-65 coming around as well. The T-37 has not been spotted. So he is in danger now. He needs to get out of there and get into cover quickly. And he's heading for the uh, trees. Um, and the logs over on the east side of the battlefield. Okay, it's going to aim back at the IKV and the T-37. The T-67 is acting as his spotter. The T-40's turned up. Okay, so all the enemy tanks that made it around the top, around the north route, have suddenly turned up at the cap. He's ready to go. Almost dialed in. Dialed in. And he kills the T-40. One shot. That's his sixth kill. So he's got a top gun. There's a KV-2 in the South Passage, but it's engaging a KV-1. In the meantime, a Hetzer's come round. 
to try and spot the IKB and the T-37. I think he's going to engage them. Unfortunately, the Hetzer was destroyed by the IKB. And the T-37 has been spotted coming around the other side. Now, Jimi Hendrix lines up and shoots. Now, he didn't kill the T-37. It was the T-67 who got that uh, T-37. But he's ready to go. Almost reloaded. It's reloaded now. Rounds out. Oh, no. It's, he had a red line at the last second, so it was bound to hit something else. But the T-67 picks up that IKB. He's still in six kills. There's three enemy left. Now, I think he's going to work with this uh, T-67. Or is he going to go off on his own? It looks like most of the enemy that were around the north side of the map have gone as a KV-2 down the other end and he's managed to get rid of the KV-1 that was um, dueling with him. It looks like uh, Gimme Hendrix is going to go down the centre and that will give him shots on the KV-2 from the side which will, where, is where he's most vulnerable. Or where he's not most vulnerable, where he's very vulnerable. So, so long as the others can keep that KV-2 in sight, he can dial in and hit it right on the side. It was a KV-220. My minimap was giving me false information. Okay, Stug 3G, it's stationary. Stop to fire, rounds out. Direct hit, kills it. 239 hit points. There's only one enemy left, and it's the uh, birch gun. Yep, it's a birch gun, and the player is fairly inexperienced, so we don't know where they're likely to be, but we can estimate that they're probably down on the dip at K1, or back in the bushes. Now, I check K1 first. You can take a hit from a birch gun and not be killed. Okay, there's nobody in K1. He did a drive-by there, but didn't spot anyone so if, if he's not there he's probably back in these trees he's been spotted okay there he is okay lines him up he's gonna do an arty shot on him okay the birch gun doesn't appear to know that he's been spotted he's just continuing to move otherwise he would engage rounds out direct hit and that wins the battle 190 hit points and that was his eighth kill, which means, it means, yes, he did get a Radley Waters. <laughs> he got a first class tanker for Gimme Hendrix. He also picked up a Bruiser Metal for scoring at least five critical hits or crew incapacitations or module damage. He got the Radley Waters for getting at least eight kills. And he picked up a High Calibre for getting the highest amount of damage, at least 20% of the enemy hit points. He picked up a top gun because he managed to get at least six kills and he picked up a counter battery because he took out all three of the enemy arty in fact all two of the enemy arty i should say because there was only the m44 and the birch gun on the enemy team so well done indeed if we look at the team score we can see that he came top with 1504 hit points uh he came top when it came to kills with eight and he came top no second top uh, second, um, with 922 experience points, base experience points. He fired 12 rounds, 6 direct hits, 6 penetration, 4 splash damage, damage of 1,504 hit points, of which 815 was at more than 300 meters. He spotted one enemy vehicle, the birch gun. He destroyed or damaged 10 of the enemy, but destroyed 8 of them. He got stun assist of 126 hit points, and he caused 2 stuns. 
He earned 21,884 credits on a standard account. After deductions for ammunition, he took away 15,824 credits. He received base XP of 922, but it was the first win of the day, so it's times two, and he took away 1,844 experience points in total. So well done, Gimme Hendrix. That was uh, uh, quite an interesting battle, and uh, I'm sure that uh, this uh, list of medals does not show the Reaper medal. You must have won at the same time for getting at least three kills in a row with consecutive shots, because you did hit three in a row. I was counting them. I watched them. Uh, the M44, the KV-1, and then you did take out that T-28 with almost, it was a blind shot actually, but you took him out with three shots in a row, so well done indeed. If you enjoyed this replay, please do give it a like and do subscribe to our channel, which is run for the benefit of the members, and hopefully I'll see you in the next replay.